Good morning, you guys. Nick here from the JFU Vlogs. And uh, we're on the final day of our touring Arizona trip. It's bright out here in Sedona. But let's look around here. This is the hotel we've stayed at the past two days now. And, uh, you know, we're starting to pack up. We're going to get on the road here soon. So, you know, getting my caffeine in for the morning. Hopefully it's not too loud. There's kind of a waterfall river thing near me. Hopefully it's not that bad. But, you know, vlogging and stuff. Sorry I didn't do much vlogging yesterday. Uh, there just wasn't that much to vlog. It was mainly just us hiking and I didn't want, it would have just been all the same kind of naturey shots. It's beautiful, but there wouldn't have been that much more on top of that. And uh, I just didn't really feel that it was something that just needed 15 minutes of screen time. Uh, and then we went to a fancy dinner and I didn't want to bring the camera because I wanted to enjoy the fanciness of the dinner and all that so yeah I think that will do it here thank you guys and uh we'll get on the road and then today we're going to out of Africa basically get to see some animals and shit it's gonna be cool so uh see you guys there yeah did go a little overboard on the hotel situation that's... no we didn't we didn't do it enough we didn't we didn't do it enough. <laughs> honestly if we didn't reach the limit of at least like 60 towels I'm gonna be fucking disappointed in myself I don't think <laughs> you made 60 towels what Alex I don't think you did. Count them. Uh, Hi, girl. No, Bartholomew. It said O. Oh, Bartholomew. Oh, Bartholomew. 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 Bar all all um you bar 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 all you bar all you damn it Carissa oh my god oh my <laughs> I have a couple of quick guidelines to go over for interacting Oh with my Bart. god, look at him. <laughs> okay, so when you guys are interacting with Bart, um, I just need you to know he's very nearsighted. He can see out to about here. Um, it makes it hard for him to tell the difference between a finger and a treat. He has not eaten a finger, but I don't want him to have the opportunity. So when you're petting him, we're going to stick with petting him on the back of his head and on his back, just like this. Think of him like a cat. He doesn't like to be scratched, he likes strokes. So I'm gonna give you guys two treats each. You're welcome to feed them to him as you wish. When you're feeding him, you can just stick it right in his mouth. His teeth are set pretty far back in there. So like I said, the only way you're gonna get bitten is if you are shoving your hand in there. So I'm gonna scoot past you. Oh my gosh, you guys. So we have butternut squash, apple, and I think a little bit of sweet potato left. Oh gosh. Oh my god, I'm touching this one. Are they soft? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cool. Look at me, look at me. Oh my gosh. Look at me. Yeah, right now. <laughs> I know. Dude. Look at him, he's so happy. He's just chilling. Star, world star! <laughs> Whoa! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! <laughs> what is going on, dude? Are they trying to mate or something, or is he just being an asshole? Dude, I would hate to live with that guy. All right, do you want to come on or not? No, I'm good. If I, if I had someone like that as a roommate, I'd be so pissed. If I was that lizard, I would just pimp slap the shit out of him. 
<laughs> he's just like walking, he's just not giving a look. I hate when people just can't pick up signs. <laughs> oh, the really cute ones. Oh, they just jumped down. Oh my god, that was so cute. <laughs> He's so cute, look at his little ears. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what up, Montega? Woo! This guy is a bad ass mother. <laughs> Go for it, Bridget. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Wait a minute, I'm dying. Woo! Oh, 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 That's my sister. Yeah. We don't, neither one of us know our dad though. <laughs> but he's a bear. Yeah. He's a bear. Oh yeah, you always say that bear. Oh, oh, baby girl! Oh, oh it's so See, I can do it. He's gonna kill you, dog. I don't like those. It's raining. It's 
Don't leave me! Don't leave! Kind of, yeah. It's kind of like, hi, buddy. But you can like directly ask, <laughs> and you don't, and they can't see you. <laughs> like your bear is my capybara. Really? Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Bridger. <laughs> No, we're just where someone had a capybara. So fucking cute. Hey, hey, hey. What? That's not my brother though. He's not grizzly. My family's grizzly. Is he a black bear or a sun bear? Black. Black bear. Okay. Hi, buddy. You're like my cousin at least. Uh, they, you know, they look at us as part of their pack. Now when we go in there. We really have to be confident, and that's because these guys can tell if you're nervous from like a mile away. You know, they read body language very well. Now, the girl right here, Clea is the alpha. She's the one in charge in there. And then the dark one in the background is the omega. So he's actually at the bottom of the tree. We loved Out of Africa with this bittersweet feeling. While Out of Africa was crazy fun and we wished we could have stayed longer, it was time for our Arizona tour to come to an end. Not only did leaving Out of Africa signify the end of our trip, but also the end of an era. It signified that it was time for us to say goodbye. More on that in a later vlog, but I need to say a few things now. Chris has been my rock the past few years. I could not imagine things without him, and it's going to be hard not seeing him on a daily basis. He's a great friend and the best mentor anyone could ask for. He always cares and is always there, in the best of times and the worst. With what feels like my whole world crumbling around me, he's one of the last people I'd want to say goodbye to. And then we got Alex. If you haven't learned yet, she is super sassy. One of, if not the sassiest person I know. Despite that, she has a big heart and is super caring. I know if I need her, she'll be there. Oh, and she loves photography. And there's Bridger. God, I love Bridger. By now, you've hopefully seen how funny he is. He is one of the funniest people I know. He's also one of my favorite people to be around. He loves his girlfriend more than anything. Well, almost anything. So this is Carissa, the glue that holds our family together. From her infectious positivity to her amazing laugh. Even on my darkest days, she can put a smile on my face. She's the happiest and most positive person I have ever met despite all of her concussions. And she's always the optimist, putting a smile on everyone's face. And then we got my good pal, Duncan. Super chill to be around, so funny, and a great friend. I've only known him for about a year now, but it feels like we've been friends for way longer. And I hope we stay friends for way longer. I hope by now you've realized why I always put Josh and Lindsay together. They're an inseparable duo. Lovey, dovey, and all that shit. While Josh doesn't always have a lot to say, when he does, it's always worth hearing. And Lindsay loves dogs and coffee more than people, with Josh and the family we've all made being the only challenge to that rule. When you see them together, they're like an old married couple. but. Part of that's because they show you what love really looks like. And last, but anything other than least, you have Emily, the professional ass kicker herself. She's more than that though. She's funny and caring and smart and overall one of the most amazing people to be around. Some of the best conversations I had on this trip, I had with her and 
I feel like all of our lives are better with her in it. I mean, our family wouldn't be the same without her as a part of it. This trip was an amazing bonding experience that somehow brought an already close group closer together. I just wish it didn't come with the end of a chapter. So, as we made the trip back home, and I thought of everything we did on our adventure, I wished that this wasn't a goodbye. Though, goodbye doesn't always mean it's over. The end of an era doesn't always mean everything will change. The truth is time. Only time will tell if this is goodbye, or goodbye for now. Ah, dude, you didn't even do it right. What the heck, Alex? Damn it!